Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. Alright, today we're going to try out a scenario that is currently on the uh, popular tab for Steam, but doesn't have a rating for some reason, which has always confused me. Like, I'm like, how, how is that even possible? This one is called Ice Cold Killer, if I can find it. There it is, by PSteel474. Scientists working in the Arctic Circle have discovered a rare fragment of an asteroid. Little do they know of the killer that had begun began to call that asteroid home 25 thousand years of the asteroids landing a little bit awkward phrasing there but okay so it's kind of like one of those frozen diseases that like the earth thaws and all of a sudden we're all do uh, doomed from some prehistoric plagues and it's also something from outer space which is even cooler so there we go bacteria type atp boost darwinist aquasite extremophile and symptostasis standard lineup no reason to change that up this is called borealis epidermis Alright, sounds fun. This plague best thrives in cold environments, but you can choose where the scientists have taken the asteroid. Work hard to infect fast, for your plague can become deadly in an instant. Whoa, really? It can become deadly in an instant? That means you need to have extremely high transmission. So if it works best in cold countries, my question would be, can I start in something like Saudi Arabia and just ignore cold resistance, or would it be better to start in a place like, I don't know, Russia? Enjoy the early spread like crazy. I'm thinking early spread like crazy in this case, because it sounds like we need to get really fast transmission. So maybe we want to uh, get an early critical mass in some country and spread all over the place. So we'll give Russia a shot and see what happens. Okay, for transmissions, we've got Animals 1 can infect animals but does no damage to them, increasing land transmission. That could be helpful. Salt adaptation makes your pathogen survive better in salty conditions, preferred misspell for traveling by sea. Protein restructure. Restructure the plague's shape to become more efficient when airborne and increase anti-host lifespan. Your pathogen can live outside of the host longer, increasing infectivity. And yeah, that's a pretty good boost, but it is a little bit more expensive. Still think that might be a little bit better than some of the water transmission. I don't know. So we have air and water. We have just raw infectivity and we have land transmission options. Okay. Symptoms. Bacterial viral transfusion. Increase the random factors of your pathogen, unlocking special symptoms. Well, that sounds fun, but you need a lot of DNA for it. Insomnia, less productive, cysts for a little bit of extra infectivity and severity. And anemia, so these are usually down here on the bottom for the generic bacteria, but it looks like up top something might be customized. I'm going to go for the cysts kind of early on because why not and also the abscesses they're super cheap since i have symptostasis and this gets me a lot of infectivity and severity just to get me started four abilities genetic alteration increasing cure difficulty heat for the hot environments and drug resistance okay nothing too crazy down there and no bacterial shells i keep hitting the plus button on my keyboard thinking that's going to increase the speed but no that is not how it works much as i would like it to be let's go over some animals russia happens to be in a fun position where it's attached to a few countries by land so we might be able to enjoy some extra land transmission coming out of that though ironically despite the incredible land mass of russia in this case it's really only attached to what one two three four five six six nations yeah, not, not quite as much as you might expect, but still, it's something. We'll go for it. Could go for that hypersensitivity, which is good for the rich regions, but right now we are not in rich regions, so I don't think I care. I would like to go for things like salt adaptation, given that Russia is considered to be a wet country. Water transmission wouldn't be bad. At the same time, the anti-host lifespan would be a pretty big boost, and we're very close to getting it, so I guess we will. We got hypersensitivity for free. Well, that is something I planned on picking up at some point. Little wary of excess uh, severity, but for now, it's fine. Let's go over the salt adaptation so we can get a little bit faster around Russia and out of Russia. I would like to go for some air transmission, just getting on some planes, of course. Helps me get onto other continents pretty darn quickly. It is something usually worth picking up. Regardless of your starting location, having air transmission is almost always really good. We have enough severity that we are getting some extra DNA. Not a very consistent amount, but some, and I, I do like that. Could go for inflammation. Um, I, I, yeah, I guess we could, but it could be fatal as well. Insomnia just gives me raw severity. Does lead to uh, paranoia, so people are less likely to go to the doctor, and I think I will pick that up, just so people are less likely to start the cure progress, uh, which I think is how that works, though I could be completely wrong. So see, we are getting around pretty quickly in Russia, starting to get on some of those airplanes, which is helping, and some boats. A little bit of a progress there, a little bit of progress there. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go for some drug resistance now that we are starting to get into wealthy nations. We already have the hypersensitivity, so that works well. We got into Greenland early. I'm not worried about Greenland, though, since we started in cold areas. I'm more worried about New Zealand, Madagascar, and the Caribbean, probably. Uh, we do need to get heat, especially as we continue getting south. So let's go ahead and pick that up now, kind of in preparation. Uh, Russia has started working on the cure. I guess they weren't quite paranoid enough for my tastes, but okay. 
Anemia can lead to some good stuff. Um, I don't want to get too much lethality is the thing. I gotta be careful about that. We do still want some more transmission. We could go for animals for even more land transmission. That could be helpful, but really the islands are gonna be what kills me. So I think we need to go for a little bit more water transmission rather than anything else. We have an awareness day for a disease that no one has really started curing yet. Well, that's unfortunate. It means we're gonna start ramping up that cure progress a little bit sooner and faster. Oh well. Not really a huge deal, but I need to get on those islands, please, and thank you. We did get into Canada. We should, for once, be able to spread pretty rapidly in Canada with the hypersensitivity, the drug resistance, and the extra cold resistance at the start of the game. Could go for level 3. Um, this doesn't actually increase infectivity by itself. It just increases C transmission. So I'm going to say for 35 DNA, that's probably not worth it. Holy frick, though. What? I should have checked that sooner. That's amazing. 23 DNA for a massive amount of extra stuff. Why am I getting why am I getting updates on from the depths? I don't know if you guys can see that right now. Sometimes the steam stuff pops up in videos and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I don't even remember what from the depths is. Why do I have that? I don't know. We're going to go for protein restructure because apparently that's a freaking absolute ton of uh, infectivity. Also, it's appropriate given that we're starting to get into a lot of arid regions down to the south, so that'll actually help me spread quite a bit. All right, so the cure is making progress. It's time to go for things like inflammation and seizures, which is going to slow down the cure a little bit. Also, so give me some lethality so I can get a little bit of extra DNA. Got to be careful about that, though. Would love to get some extra special symptoms and see what these do. Increasing mutation and infectivity. Well, mutation might be dangerous for me, especially since the author did warn that uh, you might ramp up lethality very, very, very quickly, and I don't like that. We could go for paralysis. I think I will. It's a little bit risky in terms of getting more lethality, especially since I'm not in all of the uh, islands yet, but I think we're going to have to take that risk. Um, could go for more drug resistance. Honestly, wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, we could also go for things like genetic alteration or genetic hardening, which is currently rather cheap and would probably buy me a bit of extra time, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm mostly just worried about Madagascar down here. We need to get critical mass in Saudi Arabia, since they do have a boat that gets down here. We also need to get a bit more critical mass in Southeast Asia and other places to get into, uh, let's say, New Guinea. We did get in the Philippines, so it's New Guinea and it is Madagascar left, I think. Yes. New Guinea, I feel like we got a good chance. Madagascar, I don't know. Maybe? Most people have not really been shutting down their ports yet, which is surprising. I'm happy with it, though. Could go for the raw extra transmission here with the anti hoax lifespan, but instead, I think I'm going to go for the drug resistance again. Even though most of the countries we are trying to infect are not considered to be wealthy, it should help me spread a little bit faster in some places like Saudi Arabia. Still nothing with New Guinea, still nothing with Madagascar, though. There's New Guinea. Okay, Madagascar, all comes down to you. If we can get into Madagascar, we've got this. If not, well, we're looking at a glorious restart. Um, there's Madagascar. Okay, hang on. That's every country. Okay, now's the point where we do want lots of mutations. So we actually got viral genetic combination for free. We can go for genetic reverb, which gives even more mutation, and I think that's not a bad idea since there's a lot we could benefit from. And we can go for even more. You know what? Yeah, let's go for raw mutation chance and see what happens. There's Insanity. That should slow down the cure by a fair bit. We should be getting Coma pretty soon as well, if we are lucky. Hemophilia? Okay. I don't know if there's any corpse transmission currently in the game. Argentina is shockingly struggling here. Really, though? Wait, what's going on in Argentina? They're not spreading, like, at all. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay. Well, that means we need to get things like uh, Anti-Host Lifespan and try and get a bit more infectivity. Wait, what's going on in Argentina? Did we do something that actually makes it impossible for them to spread? We're getting more numbers in China, but everyone in Argentina apparently is practicing perfect levels of social distancing. Okay, well this is an issue. Um, good. Let's go for a couple levels of genetic reshuffle and try to buy some time, but no, we are, we are killing. We are not actually spreading in Argentina. What? I've never seen this before. We have max infectivity and they are not spreading at all. Oh, that is bizarre. I don't like it. Okay, well, we're going to be destroying almost the entire world's cure progress, but it's not going to matter because of Argentina. Well, crap! Even though I got everywhere I wanted to, we're going to have to restart because I can't get anything. That's weird. So, that usually occurs when somebody has written in, like, a little hidden thing about, um, nations not spreading anymore or something. Like, I've never seen that happen by itself. Have you? Have you seen a nation with some people infected just with max infectivity and literally not getting anybody? I don't know if I ever have. That's a thing that happens when, like, uh, heat resistance is, like, max 100%. We've seen that in some other scenarios where, like, Greenland or Iceland will get infected but literally cannot get any further. And it breaks scenarios. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this again. Um, it looks like I ramped up the lethality a little bit too fast, but to be fair, I really thought it was going to work. 
And let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, this time we see me making some progress, and the trick is this time I started in Saudi Arabia because apparently starting in Russia means getting into South America is very difficult. Found this out with a second attempt. Starting in Saudi Arabia seems to be getting me the bonus of starting around a lot of good hot countries and infecting them quickly, but we also have that extra resistance to the cold because of our innate uh, history, so we should be spreading relatively quickly in the Northlands as well. No problem whatsoever. Um, okay, so is there anything else I really need to worry about right now aside from just slowing down the cure, I suppose? I kind of want to know what this does. We'll go for a level of this. Leads to genetic mutilation. Lorem ipsum dolor sit met. I think this is just like the generic description that happens when nothing's been filled in. Could be wrong. Think so, though. There's a systemic infection. That's going to get me some extra lethality. We haven't even gone for the mutation chance yet. I'm making sure we hit some sort of a critical mass in a few places first. Such as Poland, which appears to be holding out on me a little bit. The Philippines looking okay. I think now's the time to go ahead and start ramping things up. So let's go ahead and grab loads of extra mutation chance, and let's also just go ahead and take the total organ failure myself, since we have the points for it. And there we go. So that should start killing very, very quickly. I'm assuming Poland's gonna end up being okay. Whoa, wait a minute. No, it's happening again. There's This is different this time, but there's literally a country that cannot be infected anymore. What is happening? Is this happening when I pick up like something like this? Hang on. I'm gonna refund all these real quick. Nope, not infecting. We're just killing too fast. What is happening? Yeah, no. For some reason, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but there comes a point where it literally cannot spread anymore in a country. That's either a bug in one of these symptoms, and I don't know which it would be, or something. Huh. Okay, same situation then. Um... I don't think I'm any closer to narrowing down what the problem is. I just... You see the problem, right, though? This doesn't make any sense. Come on, hit that critical mass in Greenland. I think that's the only country that it's currently waiting on. I'm trying not to ramp up lethality because I'm terrified that I'm going to mess it up somehow once again. Uh, it could very well be that for some reason Coma is doing it because no one's actually traveling around there. I don't remember it being nearly that impactful in the past, but that very well could be the case. All right, no one healthy in the world. Coma, total organ failure, should help a little bit. We need to save some DNA to make sure we can reset that cure. Though with the coma, I would think it's going to be pretty good, but nope, it's not. Doesn't actually help me. All right, that's fine. We just need to kill very quickly then. That's all we need to do. Fine, we're not going to go for the mutation chance at all. I'm just going to keep resetting that cure a little bit, but I think at this point we should have enough mutation chance and lethality that we can win. And there we go. So I don't know what was causing that. I don't think it was coma. I don't think I've ever seen that problem with coma. I could be wrong, but I am pretty sure... So, we may have a weird bug in this scenario, but, hey, whatever. Aside from that, how's the scenario feel? Well, it's a little bit more generic than you think. A lot of this is from the uh, vanilla bacteria type. There's a little bit of customization up here. The transmissions and stuff is where you find the most um, individuality of this scenario. There's a little bit going on here with gene uh, genetic alteration, but I'll be honest, without some descriptions and stuff, I'm not too sure what all of these do. So, maybe they're really powerful and cool, and maybe they're not. Let's see, what does this do? Yeah, no, no descriptions there. I, I think all they're supposed to do is slow down the cure like genetic hardening. It doesn't seem to actually reset the cure, so it's not a genetic reshuffle despite the fact that it does share the same symbol, but oh well. Okay, so this time around we are going to win, thankfully. It's only like third or fourth attempt, but yeah, I think it's a pretty, pretty good scenario. You know, is it like top tier? No, but is it pretty darn good for like a, I don't know if this is like a first attempt by the author or not. Y yeah, I think it's all right. I just like to figure out why <laughs> some countries are impossible to spread and what's triggering it. That's what I would like to know because that's the only reason we lost the first time. Starting in Russia would have been viable, but because that, yeah. <laughs> Argentina wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. Never expected that before. Anyway, so 597 days, three stars at 70,366 points. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a thumbs up. Not bad. I really don't know why it doesn't have a rating. I think this is easily a uh, three or four star scenario. No problem at all. So if you guys want to take a look at it for yourself in the Steam Workshop and give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you so feel inclined, then by all means do so. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.